obviously this this is just a very evil sick act and I would just like to ask you to keep an open mind when you listen to me speaking about this since Parkland since Valentine's Day I have made a study of mass shootings mass shooters have more in common with each other than with any ideology that they are associated with we can definitely place the blame with many factors and I've actually noticed that a lot of mass shooters as well as serial killers have major issues with their obviously their early childhood and early family and also their uh, their mothers 1927 May 18th in Bath Township Michigan 44 school, school children and teachers were killed at the Bath Township School by a disgruntled board member of the school Andrew Kehoe. Kehoe had put a sign in front of his farm that said criminals are made not born. He also according to the eyewitness had a history of uh, trouble uh, in his family. Apparently um, his mother had died when he was quite young and he was actually a suspect in the death of his stepmother. Um, there was something really shady going on in his family and his early upbringing. Sometimes the person has hatred for a targeted group. Often they have many other problems and issues. They're isolated. They don't have any meaningful relationships uh, with others, which can definitely signify that they are sociopaths. And obviously they don't have a conscience and they don't have the ability to understand others and how they feel pain. CNN had an article, an article that said, I think it was 72 hours of hate, and it talked about the pipe bomber who was caught in Florida, who sent crude bombs around to Donald Trump's enemies, as well as, I believe there was a, a shooting in Kentucky. Someone tried to enter a black church and couldn't get in, so went to a grocery store and shot two people. Really awful, awful, awful. The third would have been Saturday's mass shooting, but the CNN article never mentioned that there were also letters um, sent with ricin, the deadliest poison on earth, to President Trump at the White House and to General Mattis at the Pentagon. I guess because it doesn't fit in with people saying these are targeted vulnerable groups. Nevertheless, what does the person who was caught, by the way, he was an ex-military guy. What does he have in common with the other three stories mentioned? Mass murderer, yeah. He was targeting Trump and his, uh, his people, but he was a mass murderer, attempted mass murder. We had a mass shooting in Texas not too long ago, um, this year in fact, I believe, or at the end of last year, of worshipers in a Christian church. Are we going to say that those are targeted vulnerable groups now that white Christians are, I don't think you have to be a member of a minority to be targeted by a mass shooter. You just have to be part of a group or you just have to be at a gathering. For instance, the, the Vegas shooting. People were trying to make a big deal of the fact that maybe it was a lot of Republicans because it was a country concert. That may have been true. Uh, there was a little bit of rumors about that. Um, hard to say, really, but there are a lot of mass shootings that do defy the narrative of that they're targeting people of color. Why am I saying this? I'm saying it because, again, what did I start this video out with? That mass shooters have more in common with each other than they do with the ideology they espouse. They are willing to commit mass murder. And they somehow got to that point. Unfortunately, it is true. Uh, someone with this mentality will find a way. We'll find a way. The guy that blew up the Bath Township School in 1927, he used dynamite. He was really into tinkering. He'd been studying dynamite his whole life. He was probably bored, just like this guy who made those threats against the Jewish community centers. Um, a very sick, sick individual. He also killed his wife that same day before going over and blowing up the school. These mass shooter types are multiplying, um, and we need to really, really figure out what's going on because it is a lot of a combination of a many 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 things it's been happening for a long time it's been increasing for a long time and I just want to say please don't tell your Republican or Trump supporting friends that you really just this is this is it this is the last straw because they're not making the connections that you're making you're making these connections because you're reading articles that are only stating mass shootings and killings 
that fit into the idea that these are people of color. Now, it's almost as if somebody's just trying to keep us all confused and divided. Let's just be really careful when we share things. Also, I want to let you know, if you share something that has like a t-shirt or a sign and then it has something written on it, that could have been altered and it might be something super violent or racist and everybody's going, oh my god, I'm gonna be sick. And, um, fake news, yeah. Pranksters. No good, no good. Thanks for listening. But I can feel it nonetheless There's a phoenix rising from the flame Ready to take flight all captives to unchain Tired of the death and destruction Tired of the rape and domination Tired of opinion to maintain control Tired of the ownership over my soul The soul We say the time is now No longer will we bow So say goodbye Over my body and my soul There's a knowing deep within my brain There's a better way than one of sorrow and of shame There's a power deep within my soul Ready to change the game of slavery and control Tired of the hoarding and starvation Tired of the blame and manipulation Tired of striving just to stay alive Tired of laboring barely to survive Survive